studying maths at Cambridge is special because it's exciting and demanding and you're really surrounded by lots of people who love their mathematics. I chose maths at Cambridge because the Cambridge course covered so much in three years and I knew that I was going to learn a lot. The students are pushed, they're pushed hard, I don't think it's easy, but everyone just loves their mathematics so much. In the first year of the course, all students take compulsory courses in a number of core subjects that anyone who wanted to call themselves a mathematician would expect to be competent in. And then in the third year, the options really explode from pure mathematics, so algebra, geometry, number theory, all the way over to statistics and theoretical physics, including general relativity and quantum theory. The most exciting facility for math students at Cambridge is really the Centre for Mathematical Sciences. A real sort of mini mathematics city. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's a wonderful place to work and study. And also escape up to the grass roof and look around, look at the Newton Institute and be inspired. There's also a maths library on site where there are things like board games for students when they're not working, as well as blackboards to collaborate together when they are. My advice to students who are just starting the course would be to prioritise finding a group of friends that you can do maths with. If you've got people that you can discuss ideas with, you'll find it much easier and you'll do much better. If we have any academic concerns or worries, we can talk to our supervisors and our director of studies. It is going to be harder than it was in school, but this is a good thing because you'll learn a new way of thinking, learn lots of new ideas, and also you'll be challenged. In my spare time, when I'm not doing maths, uh, I'm the JCR president of my college. I do some teaching and some mentoring, um, but running's the, the big thing that I do. I play badminton for my college. I'm part of the kickboxing society. I play football. My college is on the river, so we have our own kayaks and punts. I do enjoy taking them out. Maths graduates from Cambridge have great career prospects. I mean, lots of employers are looking for good mathematicians and so they really snapped up for jobs. You can go into the obvious careers like banking, computing, teaching, but also people do lots of other things. If you're a maths graduate from Cambridge, the world is your oyster. After I graduate, I'm going on to do a PhD. Plans for the future would include doing part three, which is the masters here at Cambridge. After I graduate, I may go for a job in the field of data science. This degree especially it will equip me with the skills that I need for almost anything in life. <laughs> STEP stands for sixth term examination paper and they're public exams that you take just after your A-levels. The idea is that the syllabus is the same as either A-level maths or further maths A-level, but the questions are harder. The way I prepared for STEP is by practicing all the past papers possible. So I went on the STEP support programme that's run by Cambridge. There's lots of past papers online with solutions. If you keep persevering, you'll be surprised at how much better you get with practice. Before I came to Cambridge, I expected it to be quite a male-dominated environment and that I wouldn't be able to fit in. But I was surprised by how welcoming the maths faculty are. You should ask yourself, am I enthusiastic about mathematics? Am I willing to work hard? Do I also feel I've got the prerequisites in mathematics that will enable me to start an undergraduate degree? If you feel your answer is yes to all of those questions, then this is probably the place you belong. Please don't be put off by applying, because this place is full of people who are passionate about the subject. I didn't think I would get in, and I didn't want to apply at first, but I thought I'd just give it a shot, and here I am.